glad that that you're here to, to celebrate the complete the opening of uh, Route 67 four lanes from Frederick Town south to Poplar Bluff. And this is a great day. It's just uh, it's one of those days that it's it's all smiles and hugs. <laughs> it's it's a victory. This is a victory. You know, and, and it was a partnership to pull this together. Whether it was uh, county county officials, commissioners, whether it was city mayors and, and council people and and U.S. representatives and U.S. senators and just all around uh, MoDOT and, and the Corps of in, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and and of course our, our partners with patrol helping uh, manage traffic and keeping everybody safe throughout the throughout the. Uh, the length of the project, just all around a great day. You know, just a couple comments. November 2004, the taxpayers in Missouri checked yes and approved Amendment 3. December 2005, bids were opened on the first project for this corridor, and through that time, the, the, the group that came together to fund it was MoDOT, the City of Poplar Bluff, and the United States Army Corps of Engineers. And what the result is, here we are August 2011, under budget, 16 months early. And that just demonstrates what partnerships in a, in a, in a like vision, that's results that we can achieve to that. And so I just want to... Uh, I want to thank you all for coming and introduce a few folks to, to say a few words who really are the ones that helped pull this thing together. And first on our list is uh, the Honorable United States Representative, Ms. Joanne Emerson. Thank you, Mark. Let, me, let me say how excited I am today. This has been a dream come true for the last 30 years, I think. And the fact that MoDOT and its partners have done such a tremendous job is something that we can all be very proud of. And it's very, very unusual that you can say, when, especially when there are tax dollars involved, that something is under budget and way far ahead of schedule. And so that's a tribute to all of the hardworking people in, in MoDOT who work their hearts out and all the construction workers and, and others. And, I, and I'm, I'm so excited. I, I also, I have to special tribute, though, to the, the city of Poplar Bluff, whose citizens taxed themselves to make this road possible. Uh, that's a very unusual occurrence in any situation, but the fact that they went out on a limb because of the importance to economic development and to our region is, is something that I, I really have to, to commend. I also, like Mark, want to thank all of the county officials and in Madison County and in Wayne County and certainly in Butler County. This is a very exciting, exciting day uh, for all the people who travel up and down the highway, but more importantly, it's it's a promise for the future, uh, and I'm very, very proud to have played a very small part in it. Thank you very much. Representative, we certainly thank you for your support and help on, on this project. Our next speaker is, is Mr. Tom Schulte on behalf of uh, the Honorable U.S. United States Senator Roy Blunt. I uh, run into a lot of old friends having worked for Kip so many years. Uh, they came up to me and said, I thought you had retired. I said, no, I'm tired, but not retired. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a wonderful journey to get to this day. Uh, one of the first things Roy told me to do is tell you how lucky you all are to have a representative of Congress like Joanne Emerson that understands the needs of your district. I think we need to give a big, big round of applause. <laughs> uh, through the years with Kit and also with Roy, probably the biggest, biggest asset to a politician is local input. This is a project that began locally and grows up through the system. Kevin and I were talking about transportation advisory committees and how important they are to each of the districts. That's so very, very important. Uh, 
Kent was making a journey with me down 67 looking at the progress on the highway one day. And I said, Kent, you know, it's amazing how much you've been able to accomplish in your years in the Senate. He says, you're wrong. He said, it's not about me, it's about we. And projects like this one today are about we. The contractors, the, the laborers, the workers on the project, the local officials, the great MoDOT team, MoDOT headquarters, all of you working together is what made this day a success. So you all have to be committed and it's kind of kids that have been happy, and boys been happy, and you ain't happy, and we're super happy to be a part of this project. It's a great day for Southeast Missouri. Thank you all. Tom, thank, thank you. Our next speaker, you know, we've got great uh, federal leadership in Washington, but we've got some pretty awesome state leadership uh, around in our area as well, and it's my pleasure to introduce uh, State Representative Shelley Keaton. Well, I too want to echo the remarks that have been made this morning, and I like Joanne. Ahead of schedule and under budget just jumped out at me, especially whenever you work with budgets and you see that the way things are and things are tight. So I very much appreciate all the partnerships that have been involved over the last 30 years or however long it's been to make this reality of Highway 67 being a four-lane corridor for Southeast Missouri a reality. So it's quite an honor to be here with you today. With you today. I'm proud to represent the 156th District, and I thank you all so much for your hard work and dedication in making today a reality. some of the to, to get jobs done on time and under budget uh, that doesn't just happen it uh, certainly there's a lot of folks uh, in the trenches that make that happen but first you got to have a vision for it and we are so fortunate today to have our director and and the guy that gives us the vision and makes it clear that, that we need to get things done and, and do it right uh, for the for the citizens of Missouri and I'm pleased to introduce our director Kevin Keith Thank you, Mark. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You know, I'm, I could say I've been involved in this from day one, and I'm going to tell you a little story. Folks approached me and said, you know what, we'd like to build Highway 67. But they did it the right way. We'd like to help you pay for it. But when you sat down and looked at the first set of numbers, this appeared impossible. Remember? It was like $250 million project, and we could raise just a little more than half that. But I think it's just a testament to what can happen when people have a vision and work together to accomplish it. Poplar Bluff thought this was important enough that they're taxing themselves for a road not in their town. That's the reason this exists. We thought it was important enough that we went to work and found out a way to build this project for about $100 million less than we thought was possible. Why is this so important? You know what, and this is what I want to leave you with, it's not because of that road out there. Poplar Bluff thought it was that important. We think it's that important because infrastructure is necessary for the long-term growth of jobs and prosperity of your communities in this state, and we want to keep on doing it. Great day. Thank you. But well, just remember, we're not dead. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Certainly from the, from the communities to show their support and, and participate in the, in the public meetings and, and let us know how things affect their communities. Uh, we're pleased uh, this morning to have with us the Honorable Mark Tripp, Mayor of Fredericton. Well, I tell you what, we are uh, we are glad to see this project. Uh, finally come to fruition as uh, uh, Representative uh, uh, Keeney and Representative um, Emerson said, uh, 
Um, I remember just as a young child, this was a uh, project that we have always looked forward to having completed from Fredericktown to Pauper Bluff. So we, we definitely want to thank uh, all the other communities that are involved. But I know for Fredericktown and uh, for Madison County, this is something that will help our economic development efforts. Uh, smaller communities have have uh, trouble sometimes with economic development, but uh, we believe that Highway 67, four lanes, is a promising future for us. We look forward to it. Uh, look forward to seeing the development along these uh, these lanes. Again, uh, a big thank you to BoDOT, uh, the Corps of Engineers, and the Highway 67 uh, cooperation for making for making this uh, uh, dream and this vision come true. And uh, we want to thank you all for attending and uh, coming to our beautiful county and city. Thank you. <laughs> Partnerships is what pulled this thing together, and you've heard from from Modon, and uh, we'll be hearing representatives of Fox but uh, we certainly can't forget the United States Corps of Engineers as well participated in this project to the tune of about $28 million. And here today with us is Lou Del Arco, the Chief of Operations in the St. Louis District of the Corps of Engineers. Thank you. In about uh, 2005, Bill Robinson and I went along the whole 50-mile stretch of the corridor looking at low-lying areas that the Corps had and discussing the vision for the project. What's really impressive, six years later, $100 million under budget like we talked about, or roughly. We're here. we got an open corridor to serve the, uh, the region, and it survived its first uh, test with water in the system, so those previous low-lying areas. The most impressive thing about this whole project to me is the uh, dedication of the partners in the project team, federal, state, and local level, all working with a shared vision towards an outcome that benefits the region, improves the safety, and provides more opportunity to the public that goes up and down Highway 67. On behalf of the Corps of Engineers, I'd like to uh, thank our partners, Bodot, the City of Poplar Bluff, and everybody else who contributed to this project. Without your uh, vision, goals, and, uh, and ideals, we would not have the holistic vision of the corridor that we all have worked towards today. Thank you. Lou, thank you. Visionary. An individual that, that looks out way beyond where anybody else is looking. And when everybody else says that it can't be done and it'll never happen and there's just too many roadblocks in the way, visionary that starts pulling step by step, piece by piece, that sees the vision and starts putting the pieces together, and that's Dr. Tom Walsh. Yeah. Well, I said just stop and let him say what I was going to say and then sit down, sit down. <laughs> uh, I want to thank all of you uh, and all the people that aren't here that played a part in this, uh, all of you that are here had something to do with it. First, I'd like to thank uh, General, Man General Manager Steska, uh, John Singleton, uh, Singleton, I believe, the marketing guy. And you have another fellow here by the name of Paul Montgomery. Where are you, Paul? The engineer. I just know that you fellows, along with your commission here at the co-op, and a man who's now retired that I got to know pretty well, his name is Mike Priest, uh, cooperated with us. That meant that Black River Co-op had to move utility lines and do it in a timely fashion when we really got started on this project. Uh, really, the, the real start was in, in uh, January of, of 06. People in Popper Bluff voted for this April the 5th, 2005, by about 68%, you know, which is great. I'd hate to try to do that today. 
but it was, we were timely as well. And cooperation has been unbelievable. Mark Shelton, Bill Robinson, the whole MoDOT crew that I've gotten to know uh, almost like family. And, uh, and then Kevin Keith that we didn't see as often, but Kevin was only just a voice away and he's always been very supportive and still is. Remember his last remark when he said, we aren't done yet. He knows that we're going to go another four and a half miles soon. Money's there for it, south of Popper Bluff to the Donovan Junction, I call it. And then we know that there's another 10 miles or so to the state line, and we're just waiting on Governor Beebe and his gang in Arkansas to, to say where they're going to land at the Missouri-Arkansas line, and then we'll meet them. Now, why is that terribly important? Well, this is going to be called the Mid-America Expressway. That's a part of today's celebration. Mid-America means just what it says. There was a time that many of you remember when Highway 67 was the Mid-America uh, thoroughfare that most of the truckers used and all, and, and all the tourists, you know, that drove up and down the line. As I said last night, many people will just simply say, well, good. Now we can drive to the Cardinal game about 30 or 40 minutes sooner and maybe see him win. <laughs> they won last night, you know. Uh, again, I want to thank all of you. There's so much that I could say. Uh, we have about a 10 or 12 member highway corporation board. All of them have been very active in this. It really takes a community to pass a half cent uh, tax levy that lasts you know, long enough to pay off our part of this uh, this cost. And, uh, and I, you know, I, I should add, for some of my friends that I eat breakfast with at Myrtle's Cafe in Copper Bluff early every morning, what they want, and they've been hearing about this being under budget. So they're, they're all NASCAR fans, so they wanted to know if MoDOT money could be built, could be used to build a NASCAR track. Yeah. Think about that. <laughs> no, I'd rather use it to go to the state line, Kevin. Thank you. Again, many thanks to all of you. Thanks for inviting us here, and thanks to Black River Co-op for the help that you gave us initially, and will still be giving us taking care of the utility lines in this territory. Last thought, about three years shortly before we started this project, there were, there were 49 fatalities between Fredericktown and Popper Bluff on the two lane. I'm not sure exactly what it's been since this project started, but I know that they are significantly lower than that, and we want them to be zero if it's possible, which probably it is not. But that was another major reason besides the uh, the economic value of this to our entire community. Thanks a million. Tom, thank you. Just be, before we cut the ribbon, you know, I just need to also make sure I, I mention that talk a lot about vision and all that stuff. We've got to have that to get, to get going, get started, but then we need folks uh, putting the plans together, making sure, working with utility companies, getting the utilities, getting the corridor cleared, uh, inspecting the project, and certainly our contractors. Uh, we got to have good contractors that give us good competitive bids uh, to, to deliver these projects, so I just needed to take a second and, and mention and thank all those uh, uh, guys and gals uh, that, that worked on that from that end as well. So thank you for that.